Good morning, muchachos. So it's currently 8.12, and as I said yesterday, we are looking for a parking spot, actually. We just found the elementary school, and we got all of our paperwork, so we're gonna find out if Alondra qualifies for pre-K. And I didn't really, I think I explained this in a video a while ago, and I talked about this recently in Monday's Plan With Me. So if you watch that Monday Plan With Me, then you already know everything that's going on. If you didn't watch it or you haven't watched the other video, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna parallel park here. Well, I guess you can, huh? It's like parking or just, anyways. So, oh, sorry, my hand's in the way. Okay, Hidam got us parked. Good parallel parking, which I cannot do. So what we're gonna do is to find out if Alondra can go to pre-K because in, I don't know if that's our, like if it's in Dallas or what it is, because I've had a bunch of people that were pretty shocked about it last time I had talked about this. But where we live, pre-K is not free. Yes, this is a public school. I had a lot of questions like, are you sure you have her in a public school? I do. Um, and public schools are typically free, but I guess for pre-K, you can only go for free for several reasons, like your parents in the military, you're in foster care, just there's like, like, there's like five or six reasons. Well, the one that we're gonna try to do is hopefully financial. Um, we don't think we are gonna qualify financially, but we're gonna try. Like, I was just like, you know what? I'd rather go bring all the documents and they just say no versus being like, yep, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna qualify. Like, I'd rather them tell us no than Edom and I say, yeah, no, they're gonna tell us now. Does that make sense? I wanna try versus not trying, I guess is what I'm saying. So, if we qualify, she gets to go to pre-K for half a day. Wow, pretty singing, mamas. Bravo. Oh, sorry. Like a diamond in the <laughs> side. Bravo! So anyways, I'll try to be quick with this with this thing. So basically, if we qualify for free, she gets to go half a day. And they don't do half a day to like pay for it. You can only do half a day of pre-K if you qualify for it with one of those like six reasons to qualify. Now, if we don't qualify for free, she can still go to pre-K, but we have to pay, it's, I got d several different answers. It's between like $580 to $600. And they go all day, Monday to Friday. And for us, financially, that just doesn't really work in our budget. That's just a lot of money. Um, and obviously we need to pay bills and we need to put food on the table. And I'm not trying to have my husband work every single day from sun up to sun down. You know what I'm saying? And we also are hoping to move and if we could buy a house, great, but at least move. So that's gonna obviously take up, um, you know, money and that money we're trying to save. So that's why it's not gonna work. Obviously when she goes to kinder next year, it's free because it's public school. But um, anyways, that's the situation. So I'm gonna stop talking so we can go inside and see what they say. We're home from the registration everything and we didn't qualify like we pretty much thought, but we just missed it. Like we barely, barely missed it. And the girl that we got was beyond nice. So she's gonna see what she can do to still get us in which is just beyond. Like, I was honestly shocked. I thought they weren't, I don't know why I didn't think they were gonna be friendly. I guess like when you think people working at a school, you would think they would be friendly, but um, I don't know. She was just so, so sweet. And she's like, oh my God, you guys just missed it. And you could tell she felt like bad. And she's like, you know, let me see what I can do. So, I don't know what she's gonna do, but she'll contact us and, and we'll see. We'll just wait and see what happens. So it's not a hard no, which is nice. And I mean, obviously they still have openings for full day. And she said too, it's interesting that the full day fills up a lot faster than the half day. And she did say, cause I asked, well, can we pay for half day? And she said, they don't allow that anymore. Like half day is only for people who qualify um, to get it free. So if we wanted, we'd have to pay like almost $600 for full day. So um, anyways, that is that, but I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm still feeling hopeful that there's a chance she will be able to. And honestly too, I would kind of, because Alondra has, ne not kind of, but because Alondra's never done 
daycare or anything. She's with us. Like she's always been with Idamari. It's really dark. But she's always been with like when we lived in Minnesota, she was with Edam all in the morning and then she was with me from like 4.30 to like bedtime. So she's always been with us and we've always worked around it so we didn't have to pay daycare. And then when we lived in California, you know, his mom watched her the days that we both worked. So she's never had to like do daycare or really be away from us. So I think if I could somehow get into that pre-K half a day, I just feel like that would be the perfect situation because she'd only be there for four hours and yeah she was coloring um i just i don't know i just feel like that would be the perfect situation it'd only be four hours and it'd be a good way for us like idam and i to ease into it and then also for her so i don't know i'm gonna stay hopeful like i feel really good about it the lady was just so sweet and i really really appreciate her whatever she's gonna try to do i just i really appreciate it so um anyways yeah that's the situation with that so it's not a hard no it's just kind of like we'll see what happens so fingers crossed and she even said for this school year, like they still, like the half day is not even filled up. So, I mean, and the school year ends in August. So I'm, or wait, when does it end? I think in May. So, I mean, um, new school year starts in August. So anyways, like I said, we'll see. But for now, it took us a while too. It was a long wait. It is 1022. Um, and oh my God. Yeah, it, it took us. We were waiting, we got there at 8.20, we signed in at 8.20, so yeah, we left, it almost took us two hours, so I think it was like an hour and 40 minutes, so it was a long wait, and of course when we left, there was only one person waiting, and they like came in maybe 10 minutes ago, so I was like, oh my god, this is what we need to do, not come in right when it opens, like come in after, so anyways, um, but yeah, I'm glad that's over, and there's, there's still hope. So I'm gonna go ahead and start editing yesterday's vlog because I need to get that done and I wanna get that up. That way it's just done and over with and that way I can start cleaning and all of that fun house stuff. My vlog is finally up and I just got done washing the dishes and this sexy man right here vacuumed and mopped the apartment. So thank you, honey boo. We're gonna vacuum and mop it again later. That way it's, you know, so fresh and so clean. So yeah, the house honestly looks really, really good. Um, I mean, it doesn't look awful. The only thing we need to do is take out some boxes of trash because our like trash, is this blurry? I feel like the, the blurriness of my camera is just like going in and out lately. But anyways, we just have to take that to the trash, which honestly is less than a two minute drive. Like, no big deal. Um, but then, I don't know. I do wanna clean our bathroom. However, we have another bathroom, so it's not like they'll ever go into our bathroom to see the dirty messiness of it. Um, but Alondra's bathroom is already clean, but I do wanna just like, just a quick little, you know, quick little overview, which I will do. But um, we are gonna make another crock pot recipe. Uh, yeah, this week, oh my God. Literally, babe, this week, every day has been a crock pot recipe. That is kind of funny, but I just love the crock pot. It's amazing. So we're gonna do Mongolian beef. Um, and we've never done it yet in the crock pot, so I'm gonna try that tonight. Edom's gonna, I just wanna make the fried rice. So he's gonna make fried rice, not in a crock pot. He's just gonna make it. It's all messed up, huh? Um, so I have the flank steak like in the sink right now, trying to like Don't put it under water. Thaw out. There's a hole you can want to oh, get wet. Oh, You don't want the meat to get wet. I don't think there's a hole though. Oh my gosh, you guys. There needs to be like a cooking 101, like what you should and should not do with cooking. Like obviously I learned, always season your meat. Even if you're putting it in the crock pot, you still need to season. And just now, don't ever put meat in a sink with water because if there's a hole in the plastic, the water will get all over the meat, which typically to thaw meat, I've always done it. So anyways, bad Brittany, <laughs> but I'm learning, I'm learning. So anyways, oh, I came in here for a reason. I am really excited because um, as you guys know, this is Easter week and we are getting geared up for Easter. I mean, Easter baskets are, shoot, I don't know where Alondra is, but um, I knew she was coming. Hi, Pocahontas. Mm. Hi, pretty girl. You know, you have like the best hearing ever. You know that, kid? Like really, really good hearing, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's not good. Oh my God, gorda! So as far as like Easter goes, like I just, you know, want to kind of do like more Easter activities like as the day gets closer, especially since Easter is on Sunday. I didn't want to do it too early. I didn't want to like do it too late. I think like this was the perfect timing. I don't know. 
So she did the Easter cookies yesterday and then today, which I'm so excited about, I think I have talked about this in my like plan with me that I wasn't sure if we were ever gonna be able to do it. But since Edom isn't working tonight, we can. Alondra doesn't know this either, but we're going to dye Easter eggs today. And I'm really, really, really excited about it. I haven't dyed Easter eggs probably since like third or fourth grade. So it has been a long time. Um, Edom has never dyed Easter eggs. So this will be like a first time for, I guess, well, for them, for sure, but I feel like it's a first time for me too since I haven't done it, you know. I've done it at school before. Oh, you've done it at school before? Okay, so I guess Edom has technically done it like at his elementary school. So I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling the eggs so we can dye them later. Now that those eggs are boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and just touch up Alondra's bathroom quickly. Like, oh my God, please don't attack me. My kid, <laughs> my child has been watching Game of Thrones with me, you guys, and she's very much into the fighting scenes. I don't let her see the nudity parts. Um, and obviously, like, the language, I mean, can't really avoid that because it's like a curse word, every other word. However, you guys might not know this about me, but I cuss a lot. I try not to as much on my videos, but sometimes I just forget and it flies. Sometimes I will edit it out. But anyways, yeah, I'm a cursor. Hi, my name is Brittany and I like to cuss. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, just clean the toilet and just do kind of like a quick little spot clean on the bathroom. That way everything looks good. I also wanna like set up the toiletries in the bathroom. That way that is done as well. I do need to go and buy shampoo and hey, don't hit me with that. I need to buy shampoo, we have conditioner. Um, but we're gonna go, I think, we're gonna go tomorrow because we need also like gallon freezer size Ziploc bags. Hey! And those go on sale tomorrow, so I just didn't see the point of going today and tomorrow to Costco. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing I have so <laughs> for shampoo right now are um, these little guys, you know, from the hotel, which come in handy. So I'm just gonna like set all that out and just be like, okay, you just use this shampoo and conditioner and I swear tomorrow I will get like regular shampoo. But I really just don't think it's that big of a video. Plus it's family visiting. I don't think they're gonna give two craps. But anyways, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, do a little spot clean here and just set up the bathroom. That way, as soon as they come, they can see towels, shampoo, conditioner, soap, all of that jazz, and they can shower if they want to. All right, the bathroom is done. By the way, so you're not putting a wet one of these guys back in there. This is a really good idea. Just like let it chill, it'll dry, then put it away. But anyways, yeah, I cleaned the shower. Everything is cleaned. I got all this set up for them. So it just says, welcome to Casa de Camachos. I have a razor uh, in case, you know, they need it. I got some ear clean. What, what are these? Ear swabs and like facial pad things, you know? Got some toothpaste, floss, uh, wash, and the shampoo and conditioner, like, you know, the, the hotel kind. But it'll do. It'll do just for one night. And then I put two clean towels here because these are also clean towels. So I'll let them know they can use the two here and the two here. But yeah, for now, Alondra's bathroom is done. Don't make it too messy, Missy. And since I've already started cleaning, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with my bathroom. Fingers crossed I don't get a bleach headache because you guys already know I do. Um, and I'm happy to say, I don't think I've talked about it in a while, but I haven't had a headache in maybe almost a week. I Yeah, it's probably been like five days. So I'm happy to say that the progesterone has like, I guess my body's finally gotten used to it. I don't, I really don't think it's allergies because it was just a headache. I still don't know. But I mean, hey, either way, I'm just happy that the headaches are finally gone. So hopefully yeah. I don't give myself one right now. And bathroom number two is nice and clean. I'm just going to let the, um, the bathtub dry before I put all of our bathroom stuff back in there. But yeah, everything's done. Oh, and then this is like an extra loofah that I'm going to go put in the other bathroom. That way they have one to wash. I am so happy because now everything that I wanted to get done cleaning wise is done. So that is a plus and it's only $2.50 so not bad at all. Again, we are just going to, well, let me see your dance. Ooh! Wow! So the only thing we have to do is just take out the boxes and we're just going to re-vacuum and mop again at night just that way it's like fresh. But 
yeah, we're done and I am pretty happy about that. Now I don't even know what to do. Other than a laundress room is a mess. Child, you gotta clean your room. I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay, now you're gonna clean your room? Yeah, Alondra needs to clean this up because you don't know what we're gonna do today, but mommy's gonna do something today. Something fun for Easter. While she cleans up her room, I'm gonna go get the stuff so we can dye Easter eggs. I'm so excited. I think she's really, really, really gonna love it. I also think it's going to be a mess. And yeah, and surprisingly, this has seriously been on the floor right there in the corner on my floor for maybe like two weeks and she's never gone in it and never asked like, mommy, what is that? And trust me, my child always asks what stuff is and she hasn't at all. So I'm gonna go ahead, read the instructions and see what we need to do to get it all set up. So this is what I have to do the eggs and I bought these, seriously you guys, four years ago on clearance at Cub. Do you remember when I bought this, babe? No? But um, yeah, I was at Cub when we lived in Minnesota, by the way, that's how old this is. And I've just had it that long. So hopefully everything is still good. I mean, I guess we'll find out. But I have this and then I have this. I don't know if it's the same thing. I remember when I did it back in the day. Oh yeah, we used like these, like what this person's, like this person, this duck, chick, whatever it is, is holding. So like put the egg on top and you would lower it in and then pull it out. But yeah, this is supposedly, it says it's like no mess. No measuring, no mess. So I don't know. Let me, I guess, open these up and figure out what to do. Do you want to know what we're going to do? We're going to dye Easter eggs. Yeah! Do you know what that is? Do you know what dyeing Easter eggs is? Um, put it in the water. And then what happens when you put it in the water? It turns rainbow. How do you know this? Are you excited? Yeah. This is going to be your first time. Mommy, I, 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 I told my daughter I hear you talking about that. Oh, you heard me talking about it, so you already knew? Yeah. You stinkers. <laughs> all right, well, let me set it all up, okay? okay? So it says, because some of these colors don't really look like the colors, for instance, none of these look green, it says to take a napkin to, like, rub on it, and that way you'll be able to find out what color it is. Damp, like. sorry. Oh, damp? damp. Okay. All right. <gasps> green! All right, we want to put vinegar to line one, but for the pink one, it says just to use water for the best result. So we're not going to do the pink one with vinegar. So that's barely any. So here's our little setup. Idam is trying to dissolve the tablets right now. That way they are dissolved. Um, and I got the six hard boiled eggs here for her, which is perfect because there's what? Oh, I thought six colors, just kidding, five colors. Um, but obviously she can do them however she wants. And then these guys here, thank you so much Chick-fil-A. We love you even more. I don't have placemats, but I have a bunch of these in my purse. So I was like, all right, I'll put this down to hopefully contain some mess and some spillage. And then I changed Alondra's clothes. That way, you know, I don't want her polka Hannah's dress to get like dyed or ruined or whatever. So. Yeah. I think we have a pretty good, I did, we got that for your birthday, me and Poppy. That's right, and then she has a little magic crayon, and that's, I guess, what, like, this Easter dyeing one is the magic crayon one, so I guess what she does is, is she draws on the Easter eggs, whatever she wants, she can, like, write and draw on it, and then once she dyes the eggs, then, like, the drawing will appear. I don't know, sounds pretty cool, what do you think? So it couldn't have worked out perfectly because honestly, Alondra is so into coloring right now, so she actually gets to color on eggs and then dye them. So I don't know, Gorda, what do you think? Are you ready? Are you ready to dye your eggs? Yeah. All right. <laughs>
So here's her finished eggs, and as you can see with the magic crown, you know, she draws on it. So this is like one drawing here. It's supposed to be a Christmas tree, and that's the star on top. This one here is one that Edam drew that has like the hearts as you can see. You want to see the Christmas tree? And oh, over here, this is the one that Edam was drawing on and he dropped it and well now it's just a broken egg. This one here, the yellow one, what did you draw on this one, baby? Do you remember? Stars. Oh, this one Alondra was drawing stars all over. Because the crown is like, this is what it looks like, you guys. It's not like an actual crown. So it draws clear and you can't really see what you're doing. So, um... But anyways, this one, Alondra did her name. Yes. So this one here, Alondra did her name. Why is it not focusing? So this one here, Alondra did her name. So there's the A-L-O, uh, the N-D-R-A. If you guys can like see that, her name there. That's the first one she did. And then this one, she just kind of drew like all over. But really cool. Did you like dyeing the Easter eggs, baby? Dying. Yeah, I know. Alondra wants to do more eggs, so we're going to let her do... How many more did you say? Three more? Uh, maybe five. Oh, maybe five more? <laughs> Are you negotiating with Daddy? <laughs> so since Alondra wants to dye more eggs, uh, we need to boil more eggs, so that way they're like hard-boiled eggs. Well, I guess you could do them not hard-boiled, but that would be... Do you guys ever dye Easter eggs not hard boiled? I think they have to be hard boiled. I don't know. I feel like that would be a little bit dangerous, especially since he not dropped an egg. If it wasn't hard boiled, that would have been like a really big mess. But it's okay, you guys. We got a ton of eggs. When I went to Costco, I got the Costco eggs. So yeah, as you can see, we got lots of eggs to spare. We'll just be eating like hard boiled eggs for days, really. It'll be like 10 hard boiled eggs. I don't eat them, but Alondra does. So she's just got a lot of eggs to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and get those eggs boiled. That way she can make some more. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess chillax because all the cleaning is done. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. And honestly, I don't really have anything else left to do. Alrighty, muchachos. Here's Alondra's finished eggs. Hey. <laughs> so this is the last row here. Those are the eggs that um, she just got done doing. And, and this, this one my mommy made. Yeah, I did this one and I wrote, I love you and put a bunch of stars. And then I mixed it up so it would be like blue and pink and so Alondra with the second row definitely she mixed the colors and with this one she just wanted to do one color but we I love your one. eggs which one let me see we mix yours oh my gosh it does it looks so pretty like and that one you made purple and, and blue yeah I know you love this that's so fun yeah, should we do this every Easter yeah yeah we have a new Easter tradition yeah, yeah? you did so good high five mamas <laughs> you and your silly faces. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> Show me another silly face. Ooh, what about another one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I going to do with you? Like oh, wow. That's a real silly one. <laughs> that's a <man. laughs> You're crazy, Gorda. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's dinner time, y'all, and I am pretty excited. So we are having a Mongolian beef and fried rice, and of course, let me show you. So here's the Mongolian beef with broccoli. That's a crock pot recipe, and then this is the fried rice. No recipe that Honey Boost, who just winged it and made on his own. I always do like love to like every time I make fried rice, I add everything I have. Yeah, you yeah. just kind of add whatever. So, anyways, it looks. No. <laughs> What did you ask Daddy Gorda? She said, Daddy, did you use your air fryer? How does it taste? How's the Mongolian beef? I'm good. Oh, okay. Well, let's try it together. That's good. That is good, sir. Yes. All right. I am really proud of my crock pot recipes. I picked some good ones. I really... <laughs> Alright y'all, we're starving. Good. So we're gonna go ahead and grab down. It is really good. Really, really, really good. I am very satisfied. 
They're officially on their way. Edom has them and I'm really excited. It's currently 11.14. I was like about to fall asleep and then, well, Edom called me. So now I'm like wide awake because I wanna stay awake to at least greet them. But unfortunately, Alondra is knocked out and she is still sleeping on that Jessie doll. That is like her little sleeping companion now. But anyways, I'm really excited to see them. I might honestly just sit out in the living room because I have a feeling if I don't, um, I'm gonna fall asleep because I'm just, I'm feeling very tired. By the way, my sleep has gotten, I feel better. I feel like I'm at least in bed by like 10 o'clock lately. So anyways, but yeah, I woke up early today because of the whole, pre-k situation so i'm just feeling very very tired but i'm gonna sit on the couch because i'm hoping like if i'm not like laying in bed you know i'll actually stay awake to see them but all right i'm so excited to see them Oh, yeah. I freaking, no, this is so pretty. I love it. Hey, 